good morning, good morning, and welcome to a brand new cruise vlog series coming to you from the beautiful Virgin Voyages of Valiant Lady. It is going to be a week of fun. So let's kick it off with the journey here, and here is what's coming up. Okay, people, it's happening. Hey! Razzle, razzle. Okay, let's do this. Bristol UK Airport to Barcelona Cruise Port. Let's go! There is a valiant lady right in front of me. I am mega early um, due to the flight landing crazily early. The baggage was waiting there straight away. And despite using a taxi app and uh, five of them cancelling on me before one turned up, I'm still here in plenty of time. It is now 2.25 and my boarding time is 4pm so I'm just gonna hang around and uh, have a look at the beauty for a little while but we will soon be getting on the Valiant Lady. This is a long line Correction, this is a long line for the luggage. And then that is a long queue to get in, but at least it's moving now. Hopefully this won't take too long. So unlike other cruise lines, you don't actually get luggage tags sent by Virgin unless you're in a rockstar cabin or suite. So they do all the printing here. So it means that you have to get in a queue for them to put luggage labels on so they know where your bag's going. And then you queue again to go into the terminal. And then you check in and then you go through security. Um, I can't help thinking that the way it is with other cruise line where you get sent your own luggage tags and you print them, would be much easier, but hey. Okay, this is a bit different. Check this out. Okay, people, it's happening. We are about to turn the corner and get on the ship. Check it out. And we're on. Hello. We're here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hey. Okay, that's it. I'm officially on board this beautiful ship. Time to head up in the elevator to the room to have a quick look and unpack. If you want to see more of this room, then I will leave the link right above here. And here is that legendary hammock for all you to see. So now the bag's dropped off, let's head up to the top of the ship and have a look around and see what Valiant Lady has to offer and get my first impressions. Let's take a look. Let's have a little wander around deck 16, shall we? Nice little pool down there. And a cheeky hot tub as well, bar down there, bar up there. Um, 
I was led to believe that this pool was really, really titchy, but that doesn't look that small, really. This looks like a pretty cool bar coming up. Oh, actually, I'm not sure if it is a bar. I think it's just a selfie station. Selfie station? Or is it? The DJ. There is a whole load of ships going on over there. So there's Norwegian Epic that I was on just a couple of months ago. Wonder of the Seas. Royal Caribbean newest ship. Um, I'm pretty sure that's an MSC ship right at the front and then there's a Costa one behind that. Glorious day. Delicious. So this is the triple net and it uh, looks all the way down i will uh, take the camera and show you in a minute but hey that's a long way down the thrusters are on okay. Look how many people have turned up for Sail Away this evening. What an absolutely amazing start to the cruise. We are just edging out of Barcelona port. Virgin Voyages don't have a cruise director, they have a happenings team. So let's meet them. May our voyage be filled with adventure, excitement, joy and laughter, and stories that you'll be able to tell long, long after. Cheers, everyone! So I have managed to capture Sail Away. I uh, did a little bit from upstairs on deck 16, but it was way, way too loud. So I came down to the comfort and shelter of my balcony. I am about to get ready to go to dinner at Razzle Dazzle shortly. But before that, it would be rude not to have a little sit in the hammock. Just beautiful. The trouble is though, I don't want to get up now. Uh, right, so need to shake a leg and get a move on. It is uh, 7.05 and dinner is at 8. So I want to leave here about 7.30, 7.45 really. So I will bring that to you shortly. So it's time to hit Razzle Dazzle. Perfect. So let's jump straight in and have a look at the menu. As usual, just pause if you want to take a closer look. So this is a mainly vegetarian restaurant, but they do have some meat dishes as well. So I'm excited to try something a little bit different. Starters come out. So this is Crazy Cob.
thought I'd bug the trend on the starter. So it's got chicken, bacon, avocado, and lots of little bits and pieces. But I have got veg for the main. So the crazy cob was pretty nice. Um, bits of chicken and bacon, and allegedly it had avocado and also blue cheese. I say allegedly because I couldn't find any of it. I did find a bit of the asparagus though, and a bit of the uh, beetroot stained egg. Very nice. Um, so we now have the heirloom cauliflower. Look at this beast. Definitely looking forward to tucking into this one. So there is one word that sums up that heirloom cauliflower meal, and that is wow. I have never tasted anything like it, and the curry sauce really, really added to the flavour. Absolutely fantastic. On to desserts then. So we have the rosin cake and the blueberry green tea cheesecake. Let's have a look. I have to say the uh, razzle cake was absolutely stunning. The blueberry and green tea cheesecake was just odd. But hey. So if you're apprehensive about coming to a vegetarian restaurant, don't be. There's plenty for them to give you. There are a few dishes on the menu and there are a few hidden pieces. Shh, don't tell them about the secret steak. So yeah, you'll be looked after. If you really, really want meat, they'll give you meat. Okay, so now dinner's done. It's time for one of the perhaps weirdest shows I've ever seen on board a ship. This is Untitled Dance Show Party Thing. Very, very odd, high energy, very eclectic, big, big focus on audience participation, lots of different music styles, but highly focused on dance music. This is crazy, but kind of good fun. Just to show you just how eclectic this is. Here we have head, shoulders, knees and toes. You could not make it up. Followed by the hokey pokey. It would be rude not to get involved and spin it all around. And then that leads us into the wobble. What a show. Yeah, really, really high energy. I'm on the jogging track, so let's hope there aren't any late night joggers about. Ooh la la. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, I like that. After some fresh air then, it was time to pop down to On The Rocks Bar for the excellent blues band. But as you can see, I was a little bit fascinated with that champagne topper. So that brings us to the end of day one. What a long but fun pack day. I've really enjoyed myself. So I hope you've enjoyed following along too. Please do consider subscribing to the channel to help me bring new content and also drop your likes and your comments below. If there's anything you want to know, please join me again for the next episode where we'll be in Toulon, France. Thank you so much for watching guys. Good night.